English country house style. Let's go back to the country houses of the 1920s, back to the golden age of steam trains and high tea. This is a grand look with a twist. It embraces wear and tear. Nostalgia and comfort are key. This look is all about colour and comfort, fabrics, patterns and texture, mismatched and somewhat worn and messy. Comfy leather couches or sumptuous floral settees and loads and loads of period features. High ceilings, stained glass windows, wooden panelling, looks that are borrowed from the Edwardians and the Victorians. Candlesticks, chandeliers, Chippendale chairs, beautiful wallpapers and walls painted in bold colours. Books and artwork are everywhere. Kitchens are mismatched but very practical, filled with brass and copper pots, dishes and bowls. Everything is out in the open, displayed and kept close at hand. Arga stoves, Belfast sinks, dressers full of dishes. It's a kitchen that's stocked and ready for action at any moment. Bedrooms are full of patterns, fabrics and pillows, tapestries, florals. The decor looks like it's been pre-loved and the bedding in layers and that all important for poster bed. The furniture is usually dark and ornate with lots of couches and padded chairs. What about the walls? Gallery walls are a must. Landscapes, florals, family portraits, just as long as they're all grouped together in similar themes, the look will work. This is a truly maximalist style, reminiscent of gin and tonics, garden parties, it's very Downton Abbey, and most definitely upper class. This is a look I would say that lends itself better to older homes, with those 12 foot ceilings, the large picture windows, French doors, period features, it's most definitely not a look for the faint hearted.